You'll find plenty here. And uh, what did they serve nope. yesterday? Halt! Biomarker. Oh, you again. You don't recognize me? Ah, the guy with Matt's orders. Bravo. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Thanks. That's all I got for you. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Don't just... Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Ready, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! He's bleeding out! Fuck! Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Save him! You Take him me. to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Die. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Matt, do not forgive the renegades for that. I recognize your uniform. Um, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. No, I'm in the market for information. And nothing I can do for you. Yeah, so I hear. Our guildmaster? He has the authority. I don't know about me, but... You can try to speak to Driscoll. Story of my life. In a headquarters, on downtown court. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll, <laughs> you can't miss him. That right, sounds good. Fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine. And that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. People here have strong opinions about healers. But you can hardly blame them. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Villador is terrible. 
We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the Butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way, the signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Having the power of a call will change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on These renegades. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the... I'm not sure it's gonna be so simple. Simple? Heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city. Do you think they might be looking for something in the... I mean, they keep coming, but... Of course it's not organized. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the top? Crazy is as crazy... D given how easily he could do it. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, so the good people of the city become... steeped in fear. That sounds pretty fucked. But we can counteract. That's why it's so vital to get so the people know the truth. Then we can defend ourselves. Nothing. Good luck. <laughs>
soldier. It's all your fault, Jack. My fault? You wanted to listen to the pilgrim, but where did that get... Well, hello, boys. It's him. It's all because of you, you bastard. You were supposed to get us out of town. Yes. And then you let yourselves get caught. You tricked us! Okay, Joe, come on. You'd look after your own ass if you were him, too. You'll have to excuse Joe. He went through a lot. The peacekeepers have methods for people like us. Shut... Shut the fuck up, Jack! I'd invite you in for tea and remembering old times, but... You're the one who got us in here. That's right, fuck off. I'm sorry it turned out that way. Sorry? What do we do with your sorry? Whoa, 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 what do you mean? What? Joe, you dumbass. The Pilgrim could still save us. How could I save you? Well, we're dehydrated as hell in here. They won't give us anything to drink. Well, I can take it, but Joe? Mm. Help ease my friend suffering. Be human. I'm guessing this isn't about clean water. We're yearning for moonshine. Killian. Oh, Killian ran the best. Yep. Killian's legendary moonshine. The gas trip butterfly. You wouldn't bring it to us, huh? <sighs> Fine, then. <laughs> it's in a safe in a water tower in Old Villador. 14, 8. No, not 8. I th what the hell? The code is the year America was discovered. Take it easy, Joe. Oh, yes, exactly that year. Just as we discovered Killian's moonshine. Oh, yeah. You'll definitely handle it, Ape. Okay. The year of the discovery of America. Just hurry up, will ya? Who knows what time our farewell party's been scheduled for. Hey, you. Yes, you. Come here. I need to talk to you. I'm Albert, and from what I hear, you're Aiden. For being fearless. For... <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe. I'm sure whatever you've heard is in... exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. Faith. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need before mankind is plunged irrevocably in... So... your books, then? This isn't about dime store paperbacks. But I'm talking about the greatest works of literature ever created. The greatest thought pieces. All of which serve to... Illuminate and uplift you. Losing such a heritage would... <laughs> sure. Work with me, please. I've been researching that, if I'm right, many priceless volumes... Of course, many of the dwellings are now infested, but... Yeah, take this list. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull... Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood. I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then.
It's January 7th, 2036. I found your recordings. Um... <laughs> I understand why you hid these from me. I was sad when you said this wasn't the life you wanted for me. You don't regret that I lived, do you? No. C of course not. I mean, sure, life is complicated. We just moved for the tenth time, we had to kill Rex, and then, you know, Mom died. But hey, I've got all my limbs, I have enough food to eat, I have friends, I have you. And after 14 years of zombie I shit, I think I turned out all right. <laughs> I see every day how hard it was for you, and how you try to make life better for me, and that well, if it wasn't for me, you might not... I can't even say that. I don't know what life used to be like. I only know the world as it is now. And I just... want to tell you that... Well, I don't know. That I'm happy to be alive, you know? And that I'm grateful for that. Anyway, um... Happy 50th birthday, Dad. And believe that mom's still shining her light on you to keep those dark thoughts away. I love you, Papa. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? Always an emergency. And the guy who needed a salve for his hernia and... Please wake her up. It better be. If I find out he just has a hang, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those there'd been a ceasefire for years. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And they're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You lie like all peacekeep. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So... You are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't! But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need. But I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Small petals heal, big ones poison. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead. And actually, I'd wait until night. Oh, uh, thanks. Ciao.
How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime. Please. Just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it. Keep that witch's poison away from I him. I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men. She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mac had ate or burn her eyes out instead. What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison. I guarantee it. Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it. It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes, seems that way. How long will it take for him to recover? Days, weeks. He's strong and otherwise in good health, so days is a likely scenario, as long as he's allowed to rest. I'm sure his family will want to be by his side. Here are your books. Not my books, dear boy. Our books. The world is collectively sighing right now. This tale, your tale, will be the next great epic. Ah, the Bible. I mean, well, that's like the book, right? Hmm. Hans Christian Andersen and his fairy tales. Children's tales, yes, but containing wisdom for all. Thanks to you, the fire in the belly of humanity burns brighter today. Thalia there is my associate. She helps me track the collections around the city. She will point you to the next locations as I catalog the books you bring me. Hi, Aiden. I'm Thalia. So, you're the pilgrim Albert told me is helping us rebuild humanity's library. I am. Albert's a wonderful man. I only hope others will appreciate what he's trying to do. We're not in the middle of the Renaissance, you know. Few people read. What about you? What about me? Do you read? Uh, when I can. Not often. Then tell me what you think. Between the Bible and Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales, which would you consider a better guide to human behavior? Uh, fairy tales, for sure. Doesn't have an agenda like some religious claptrap. Yes, but... Think of how the Bible has shaped the world around us. For good or ill, it's a powerful influence. I must speak to Albert now. Perhaps we'll talk again. Speaking of which, here are the locations of more books.
just a... Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Matt's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the Juan? Hayden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Myra and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. Aiden. Matt? What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aita's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Villador. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. See how much better my stuff is? Bandits all about violence. Juan Rayner? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's. I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen 
wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? Uh, I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm -hmm. All right, listen, I'm just trying to help. I, I need those lamps. <laughs> so the groveling and begging begins. My favorite part. Do you really need him? Or Jack? What'd he promise you? Look, you were supposed to deliver, and I was asked to make sure you do. And how do you expect to do that? Maybe bat your pretty eyelashes at me? I'm not saying you're not my type, because you are. But I need a reason to break Vinny's heart for someone else. So, you have to try harder. Oh, okay. <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday. But you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch.